Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I will be talking about a special type of port, the PC Sync port here, or the Flash Sync port, found on the Sony A7R3 as well as the A9 Sony cameras. I look around on the internet as well as on YouTube and I couldn't find any specific information. There is not much out there, so I'm going to talk about it because I do have two flashes that one of them uses the uh, PC sync port and the other one uses hot shoe and then I'll do the comparison. Now I'm not sure if it's just specifically for this type of flash or is it a general rule for uh, flash that it uses a PC sync port but I'm gonna tell you from my experience what I love about the PC sync port. Okay, let's talk about it. First, I have the standard uh, flash that uses the um, hot shoe mount here. Watch this, okay? There we go. And so I'm, I'm sure most of you have that. Now the problem with this flash, this brand, I'm not sure if it's just this brand, the Yashica uh, flash brand. When I take a picture, watch this. Let me turn it on first. Okay, notice that I can only take one flash and I can't take any more. I have to wait another 10 seconds. So the refresh rate for it to recharge itself takes 10 seconds. So for every picture I've taken, I have to wait 10 seconds for it to load up. And now we go. Okay, now I'm going to wait again. Because right now I can't do anything, right? I can't press the button, the photo button, and it won't go. I'm going to wait and come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now, if I use this one, this flash here, this is the Hemi, Hemi Mix. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Both are made in Japan, by the way, these two flashes. But this one, Hemi Mix uh, flash, I think it's at least 30 years old. It comes with a special uh, port or cable. It is connected to the PC sync. Okay, so the connection is not actually the hot shoe, it's this one here. So you put it onto your Sony A7R3 or the A9, like this. Okay, and now watch this. The difference between this flash and this flash is as follows. You see that? You see that? What is the difference? Well, this thing can take flash every two seconds. And on top of that, if I put on the continuous shooting mode, uh, it will do two flashes simultaneously right away. And in another two seconds, it'll do two flashes right away. And that's amazing. Because when you're doing a night shot and that requires a flash, it's a lifesaver. I don't know, it's because the uh, PC uh, sync port and this flash, it's just, it works perfectly. I mean, you would not be using this because this is just not reliable. If you're just taking like still picture or, you know, family uh, photo that is not in a rush. But if you're doing some kind of wedding picture and you need a flash, it has to be quick. I mean, this one does the job. Look at that. You see that? And that's what you want. Now, again, I'm not sure it's because of this particular flash that has a specific uh, um, PC sync port connecting uh, cable that works along with that. But this is definitely the flash I'll be carrying around for all the night shot that requires flashes. And this is the one that I will use. So this um, PC sync port is a lifesaver. So if you have one of these, you know, if you look around, uh, I'm sure you can get one uh, secondhand that has this um, PC sync cable connected to the port it will work much better than the one on the hot shoe. I suspect the hot sync port connection is better for flashes than this type of flash. But you can uh, let me know because these are the two that I have and I'm doing the comparison right now. Have a look at my photos that I've taken uh, with flash and without flash. There are certain scenario that you need flash for it to be picture perfect because without flash you will have a very dark image and uh, if you increase your ISO for example the problem with that is that it's very grainy uh, so flash can be very helpful in 
dark situation. Um, I'm, the only problem, of course, is that it casts a little bit of shadow. Uh, but this flash is actually very good. I find that it doesn't give that hard shadow uh, when you take a picture with flash. This is actually quite good. It kind of diffuses the light evenly. And so I don't know whether this is the brand uh, particular flash that does that, but compared to this one, I mean, this does a pretty good job, but I think this does a better job. Um, it kind of diffuses light quite evenly. You don't get hard sh shadow in the image. So have a look at the picture now. Thanks for watching educatetube.com.